Hi friends! I hope you guys are doing well. You can see behind me my two puppies are sleeping while I do this. They keep me pretty busy, that's for sure. Okay, so for this week, I'm hoping that you guys got a pretty good start last week on your research journal. Um, have as much research as you can that is credible and reliable that supports your topic. Um, and submit your research journal when you can. I'm hoping that you can turn that in by Tuesday. Um, then on Wednesday, or whenever you decide you want to start on it, um, I need you, if you are on the affirmative side, go into Schoology and find the affirmative rubric. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the affirmative team rubric. Um, this is for your final constructive speech. Um, and so basically, if you are on the affirmative side, your goal is to prove that there's a problem with the status quo and a change is needed and you're gonna present a plan for change. Um, you can see the majority of points is that. You are proving that there's a problem. Um, we need some sort of a change and then you'll have to develop a plan for change. That's the majority of your speech points. Um, you're, you need to cite five um, pieces of research or information from five different sources in this speech. And then you need to have good eye contact, body language, um, good tone of voice, those sorts of things too. So this is the rubric for the affirmative team. Um, if you are on the negative team, this is what yours looks like. Um, basically the negative team, you start by state, stating your proposition and stating that the status quo is currently working and that there is no change needed and all your reasons why there is no change needed. And then you're going to cite five or more pieces of evidence from five different places. And then you maintain eye contact, body language, tone throughout the speech. If you have any questions about the rubrics, <clears throat> please let me know. Um, so after you look at the rubrics and you understand what your main constructive speech is going to be about, um, then if you are on the affirmative side, go find your outline that you're going to have to do for an assignment. The negative side has a different outline for the assignment, so go and find the outline. Um, there's a video for each one. So there's a video for here for the affirmative team's outline, and then there's a video, oh shoot, <laughs> for the negative team's outline. So make sure you watch those videos. They're in Schoology, um, right where you find these assignments. It's right next to where you find the assignment. So you'll see your outline and then look at the video because the video will tell you how to fill out your outline. Um, that outline is the last formative assignment for the year. The constructive speech that you give based on this outline is going to be your final summative assignment for the year. And that is it. That's how we'll end the year, friends. So um, once you submit your final constructive speech in a video, you'll be done for the year. That'll be your final. So this week, I really want you to work on your constructive speech outline. Um, once you turn it in, it's going to be due uh, next Tuesday. I can give you some feedback before you actually start working on recording your constructive speech. If you have any questions or you need help, please let me know. If you're confused at all, let me know. Um, I hope this is pretty straightforward. I'm trying to keep it as organized as I can, but you never know how people are how, how people are doing. So. Let me know what you need. I hope you're doing well. I miss you. Talk to you soon.